but I'm probably one of the few law firms in Tampa that, uh, that offers collaborative life planning, which is something that I've created to try and avoid divorce in the first place. So what does that mean, collaborative life planning? Someone comes to you when they're um, having the discussion with their marriage counselor as well? Is that the, the sure. time that you're talking about? Sure, here? sure, sure. It can, ha it can happen then. We, um, we started doing collaborative divorce work because families don't belong in the courtroom. Courtrooms don't do anything. That's why the numbers go up. 50% for first marriages, 67% for second marriages, 74% for third marriages, because they don't learn anything when they go to court. Mm -hmm. But if we collaborate, we learn to communicate again. I had a guy come out of his marriage and say, I came out of my marriage a better person. Can you come out of this process, though, this collaborative process, and keep a marriage, is, is yeah. that the goal here? That's the goal. In the collaborative life planning, that's the goal. In the collaborative divorce, the goal is to restructure the family rather than destroy it. Okay. Courtrooms destroy families, they just destroy them. You're not alone though, this collaborative open palm divorce concept was new back in the early 2000s, but now folks are jumping on board. You can't do it with just one lawyer. It, the definition of collaboration in divorce is two lawyers who sign an agreement, sign an agreement that they're not going to court, that they won't go to court. If the clients give up on the process and they wanna go to court, then they have to find new lawyers. And we usually use uh, a family counselor in the process or a financial and or a financial professional. Both of them are neutrals. The lawyers are aligned with their clients, they're representing them, they're counseling them, but then we have these neutrals to deal with the financial issues and the emotional issues and the communication issues. Which frankly, that husband and that wife sitting there in that office at that boardroom table those are the things that are at their top of their mind. You know, I, I had uh, a client who left her divorce. We got her divorced collaboratively, and her comment to me was, I, I learned to listen to my husband again. It just sounds different when someone else in the room says the same thing he just said. It sounds different. And I realized that I wasn't really hearing him. And so we, we deal with communication issues right there in the divorce process when it's collaborative.